a little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rentals. He wants no money from you, no bait and switch, nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. All right, it's check-in time. Today is July 29th, 2020, and it's Roth IRA check-in. So let me log into my account. Hopefully everybody is doing good. You guys are investing. <clears throat> You're opening up brokerage accounts, IRAs, Roth IRAs, straight brokerage account. Uh, simple 401ks, just whatever you guys want to do to invest. Please, please follow my lead. This is a good thing. So let me log in. All right, I am in, and we want to go to my Roth IRA and see where we are. All right, uh-oh, we're looking good. Let me log all the way in. Go to Positions. And today is a good day. I'm up over $3,500 today. 1.65%. And my value is $215,448. Wow. This, this market is really, really going. And you know what? You ride it while you can because eventually it will go down and you want to be so far up on all the good days that when it goes down by the end of the year, you're still up a nice amount. So uh, I don't get too happy that it's up and I'm not going to get too down when it goes down. It's all about riding it out. So let's see something so we're at 215,148 and I'm doing some math or well, pre-math because once I figure out where I was I can see how much improvement I made so let's check out stocks and rentals Let's go to portfolio tracking and we're going to compare where we are now to where we were. So I want to find, here we go, Roth IRA. All right, so two weeks ago, July 15, we were at 212,438 and 53 cents. And two weeks later, again, we're at 215,448. And again, the day is July 29th, 2020. And the difference in two weeks is almost $3,000. So we're at 2,961.95. So that's pretty good. And let's... What was my best performing stock today? So we're going to look at day gain and look for the highest number. And that is stock ticker SMG, which is Scott's Miracle Grow. So it shot up by 11.75% just today. 
And I want to kind of baseline you guys of what I look for. So let's say I bought a stock January 1st. And then we roll around for the entire year, December 31st, same year, going into the new year. If I'm up like 10% or higher for the whole year, that's really, really good because the stock market average is about 10% year over year. So if you have a stock that you bought in January 1st and it's now December 31st and you're up 3, 4, 5%, that's pretty good. You're below average, but that's good because you're not losing money. And if you have a stock at the end of the year and you're up 30, 40, 50%, you absolutely hit a home run. So I just want to kind of baseline you guys. Typically, if I'm up 10% at the end of the year and I bought the stock in January, I'm extremely happy. So this is really good. Just one day with this stock, I'm up 11.75. I would have been happy if by the end of the year, I was up 11.75. So, uh, this is pretty much it. This is a short video. I want to keep you guys abreast on the good times and the bad times. And today was a good day. So, again, stocksandrentals.com. I'll be updating more of my portfolios. Stick around, ask questions. And I will see you guys next time.